Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can transfer files like photos, videos, music, documents from your iPhone to your PC and also from your PC to your iPhone. This is all wireless. You don't have to install any apps, but your iPhone and your PC need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's check this out. To transfer files, first we're going to create a new local account on our Windows PC. To do that, go down to the Start menu and then type in CMD for Command Prompt. Here you'll see Command Prompt as the best match. Right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. This now opens up Command Prompt and to create a new local account, let's type in net user and then quotes and here we could type in the username for this my user is going to be called transfer then i'll close the quotes next we need to enter a password for this user and just for simplicity i'll type in one two three but i would recommend choosing a password that's more difficult than that then close the quotes and next insert a forward slash and then type in add once again this will add a new local account then hit enter and here I see that we have successfully created a new local user account. If you want to delete this account later on, you can type in that same command. I simply press the up arrow to go back to the command. Delete this portion of the command, type in a forward slash and then type in delete and then that will delete the local user account. Now of course we need that local user account. I'll press the up arrow and the up arrow again and once again I'll add that user account. Next, we need to create a shared folder that your iPhone can access. I happen to be on my desktop, but you can set this up anywhere on your PC. Here I'll right click, go down to new, and then I'll select folder. And for a name, I'll simply type in transfer. Now that we've set up our new folder, we need to set up the permissions so that new user account that we just added can access this. Let's right click on the folder and then select properties. Within properties, go up to the top tabs and let's click on the second one called sharing. Right here, let's click on the share button. Here we can choose people to share this folder with. Let's click on this dropdown and then select the new account that you just added. I added an account called transfer. Then click on add and for the permission level, let's set it to read and write. Then click on share. Then click on done. And next, let's click on advanced sharing. And here, let's check the box next to share this folder. Down below, let's click into permissions. And here, let's click on add. Here, let's now type in the new user account that you just added. Mine is called transfer, I'll type that in. Then click on check names, then click on okay. And here for the permissions, let's give it full control. This will allow you to not only pull files from your PC to your iPhone, but you'll also be able to write files from your iPhone to your PC. Let's now click on apply and then click on okay, click on apply and then click on okay. And we can now close this out. Now that we've set up a shared folder and we've set the permissions, next open up command prompt once again. And last, we need to get the IP address of your computer on the local network. This way we can connect the iPhone to your computer. To find out what your IP address is, type in ipconfig, then enter the vertical character, and then type in find, open quotes, and then type in ipv4, and then close your quotes and hit enter. And that'll show you what your computer's address is on your local network. Make note of that address, and let's now move over to your iPhone. On your iPhone, let's now click into the Files app. You should see an app that has an app icon that looks like this. Once you open up the app, in the top right hand corner, let's click on the ellipsis. And in this menu, let's click on the second option that says Connect to Server. We're going to connect to your PC. Here it asks you for the server name. And this is where we are going to enter in that IP address that we just saw in Command Prompt. In my case, it was 192.168.1.27, but you'll likely have a different IP address for your computer. In the top right hand corner, I will now click on connect. The next screen asks me how I want to connect. I could connect as a guest or as a registered user. Let's click on registered user. And right here, I can type in an account name. 
And this is the account that we created at the beginning of this video. My account name is transfer. And down here for the password, I'll type in 123. That was the password that I selected earlier. Once you type that in, let's click on next in the top right hand corner. And check that out. I am now connected on my iPhone to my PC. And here's that folder that I created on my desktop called transfer. I could click on it and right now it's empty because I haven't yet shared any files there. Now that we've established a connection between the iPhone and the PC, we're now ready to transfer files. Let's start by transferring files from the iPhone to the PC. Here I am in the Photos app on my iPhone and I want to share these two photos with my PC. In the top right hand corner, I'll click on select and I'll select this photo and I'll select this photo right here. In the bottom left hand corner, I'll click on the share icon. If I go all the way to the bottom here, there's the option to save two files. Let's click on that. And right here, we see the server that we connected to. Once again, this is my PC's IP address. Right here, we can place these photos in the transfer folder. I'll select that. And then in the top right hand corner, I'll click on save. This is now transferring these photos to my PC. Back on my PC, I'll click into the transfer folder and here we see those two pictures from my phone. They've just been transferred wirelessly. Next, we're going to look at how you can transfer files in the other direction, from your PC to your iPhone. Here on my desktop, I have a video file that I would like to make available on my phone. To do that, simply click on the file and drag and drop it into that new transfer folder. Here, when I click into the folder, here I can see that video file. Back on your iPhone, let's click into the Files app. And within the Files app, let's click on the IP address associated with your computer. And right here, you should once again see that shared folder that we created earlier. I'll click on Transfer. And right here, we can now see that video file. I'll click on it. And here, I can preview that now on my phone. But this video file is not yet on my phone. If I view it now, it'll simply stream it from my PC to my phone. If I want to save this video file on my phone, in the bottom left hand corner, I will click on the share icon. And within this menu, there's the option to save the video. Here, I'll click on save. And I now have a copy of this video on my phone. And here now within the Photos app, I can see the video file that I just transferred from my PC to my phone, and I now have a copy on my phone. All right. Well, it'd be nice if Apple made that just a little bit easier. But hey, it works. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.